Okay, so we have question one, part B here. We, let's see, we're given an operation that is defined on a set containing one, two, three, and four. And we are given a multiplication table for star, as seen in the, um, in the image that I have here. In the first part, we need to prove that star is commutative, and in the second part, we need to show that three is the identity element for star. Okay, so let's tackle the first part. So in the first part, we need to prove that um, star is commutative. Recall that a binary operation is commutative if changing the order of the operands does not change the result. Hence, to show that star is commutative, we need to show that for all a, b in the set 1, 2, 3, and 4, that a star b is equal to b star a. Now, since the set on which star is defined is finite, and it only contains four elements, we can get away with a proof by exhaustion. Here's the proof. Um, from the multiplication table, we can get this list of equalities. And from this list of equalities, it's easy to see that changing the order of the operands does not change the result. For example, look, that, look at um, the first couple lines. 1 star 2 is equal to 4, and 2 star 1 is equal to 4. 1 star 3 is equal to 1, and 3 star 1 is equal to 1. So by changing the order of the oper operands, we did not change the result. Um, let's see. So it follows that A star B is equal to B star A for all A, B in the set 1, 2, 3, 4. And so it follows that star is commutative. Okay, so before we continue to the second part of the question, I wanted to show you an alternative way you could have proved the previous result. <coughs> um, we, we could have simply stated that the multiplication table is symmetric about its leading diagonal. Um, it amounts to the same thing, and it's shorter than listing out all the equalities. And as I said, it conveys the, the same meaning. Anyway, with that, this completes the proof of the first part, so let's now tackle the second part. So now in the second part, we need to show that 3 is the identity element of star. To show that 3 is the identity element of star, we have to show that 3 star A is equal to A, which is equal to A star 3, for all A in the set 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is, we have to show that multiplying any one of the numbers by 3 leaves the number unchanged. Alright, but... We, we could notice something though. Remember we already showed, well, we already know that star is commutative. And so we, we actually don't need to show the entire result. We just need to, to prove that 3 star A is equal to A for all A in 1, 2, in the set 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So we don't need to show that 3 star A is equal to A is equal to A star 3 because we already know that 3 star A is equal to a star 3 because star is commutative. Anyway, again, because the, the set is so small, um, it's finite and only contains four elements, we could use a proof by exhaustion um, to, to show the result. So, from the multiplication table, if you, if you notice the column tree and row tree, um, we would get a set, we would get a set of four equalities and it clearly shows that 3 star A is equal to A for all A in the set. And with that, um, it follows that 3 is the identity element of star, and it completes the proof and the question. Hey guys, Dwayne here. If you're a Caribbean student struggling with Cape Piermats and you need extra help, then go to this link to join my free study group. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.